Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Starry Muni. Today I'll be showing you how I did this fresh juicy pop makeup look Looking fresh without having too much color on the eyes And using a pinkish pop color on the lips Let's get started First, I'm gonna use this Avid Repair Balm All over my lips and then next for the face primer, I'm just gonna use this Etude House Face Blur This is for smoothening and brightening effect for the face Next, I'm gonna use, use this Estee Lauder Double Wear Cushion This is my favorite cushion guys Just put it all over your face Don't forget the neck area For my eyebrow, I'm gonna, I'll be using this gel eyebrow pencil from Etude House This is just to shape my eyebrows Next, I'll be using this eyebrow pencil from Shu Yumura to fill in my eyebrows. Taking a Q-tip to just blend the in front part of my eyebrows to make it more natural. And next for the brow cara, I'm gonna use this Etude House one. Next, I'm gonna be using this Too Cool for School by Robin shading for the contouring part. I'm just gonna use all of the colors, mix it together, and apply it at the outer area of my face.
For my nose contouring, I'll be mixing the two lighter shades together Moving on to the eye area, I'll be using this palette from Too Faced, which is the Sweet Peach. Firstly, I'll be using this Peaches and Cream color and apply it all over my lids and under my eyes. Next color will be this puree. I'm just gonna apply this at the outer corner of my eyes and under my eyes as well. This is just to create a little more dimension to the eyes but not too strong as the focus for this makeup is on the lips. For the brighten up effect, I'm going to use my finger to apply this color nectar at the center of my lids and at the front half portion of my under eyes area. I'm going to apply the champagne pop color from Becca on my inner corner of my eyes to make my eyes looking fresh and wide awake. Next step is to curl my eyelashes.
I'll be using this gel pencil liner from 3CE in the color cinnamon to first tight line my eyes. And then just draw slightly at the outer corner of my eyes. It doesn't have to be perfect as I'm going to use an eyeliner brush to drag out the color to create the wings. This will give you a more natural look, not so harsh on the edge. I also line the front corner of my eye. For the mascara, I'm going to use this Brow Lash Neo Mascara to apply it on my upper and lower lashes. Last part for my eyes, I'm going to apply this gel glitter shadow from Jill Stewart. It has a very fine glitter in it, so it doesn't really look too much for this makeup look.
this blush cushion from 3CE in the number pink. Another tips for you guys, for any cushion products that I have, I'll always replace back the white sticker portion like so to prevent my cushion from drying out. I realize my cushion always dries out faster if I didn't replace back the sticker. So you guys can go and give it a try to add your fair cushion. I'm gonna be using this face blush from 3CE in the color Peach Splash to just apply it all over my cheeks, like so. Taking the Becca highlighter again to highlight my cheekbones, nose bridge, and at the tip of my nose and my forehead. Lipstick time! This one is from Peri Para. Isn't this color looks very refreshing guys? It has a hint of orange to it. I'm just applying it all over my lips. And then using this concealer brush to blend the outer corner of my lips. Next, to make it more pop, I'm going to top it off with some shot to my lips by using this Dior Lip Maximizer.
and this makeup look is done i hope it's easy for you guys to follow give it a thumbs up if you enjoy the video and don't forget to subscribe have a nice day and see you soon Said to you, now you're going on.